The taxi has been running all night on gasoline only. Um, they replaced the battery that was malfunctioning last week on Thursday and then I worked the Thursday night and it was running on gasoline the whole night. In the morning I reset the computer by um, disconnecting the negative battery terminal in the trunk and uh, reconnecting it and it worked okay from from the uh, place where I did that to the gas station and from the gas station to where we park it and apparently day shift had a problem with it and I had my weekend so now I'm back with a car that runs only on gasoline instead of the hybrid system and it uses almost twice as much fuel as it would otherwise well no maybe not twice one and a half times it's going to be interesting to see how much I'm going to pump into it now because it's almost empty. Uh, and the night, how was it? This Sunday night was busy. I have about $450 on $85 of that goes towards the lease. And I'm guessing about $35, $40 will go towards fuel because it's not running on electric. It's only running on gasoline. And yeah, I got the message just before I went to work from the owner that uh, we've been having problems with it. The, uh, the new battery that they put in on Thursday was defective. I think I said that already, didn't I? Yeah, I'm, I'm very tired because I didn't get much sleep um, Saturday night because I was uploading taxi vlogs to a Dropbox. A friend of mine has uh, decided to host... The, uh, taxi vlogs from the year 2010 till 2019 and uh, he's already started uploading a few and I've been uploading those to a Dropbox so that he can uh, grab them and uh, post them and I think he's putting up one a day or something it's an ambitious project. It's like 10 years of taxi vlogs. Um, and I would have done it myself, only I just don't have the time working these 12 hour shifts and uh, with my whiskey tasting channel and with this channel, I'm busy enough as it is without putting up the old taxi vlogs so if you're interested at all in seeing the old taxi vlogs look up Mequig taxi vlogs that's m-e-h-q-u-i-g all lowercase letters m-e-h-q-u-i-g space capital t a-x-i space capital v l-o-g-s there you will find the older historical taxi vlogs and they're not being uploaded in any um, in any chronological order they are just being uploaded when when he can get them or when he can grab them out of my Dropbox so there you have it taxi vlogs will continue even though the taxi vlog channel has been um, terminated. Look up once again Mequig Taxi Vlogs. Because 
originally my channel was called Mechwig, and then I changed it not too long ago to Taxi Vlogs. I think it's only been like seven or eight months since I changed the name to Taxi Vlogs. Anyways, I'm just approaching the gas station now, and I got a fuel up, and then I got to hit a bank, make a small deposit, and uh, that will be my night. I'll be back for four more. Oh, wow. This place is busy. Ugh. This gas station is busy. This particular Monday night was busy from the get-go. I was busy driving one after another, after another, after another, but I didn't get as many long trips as I did <coughs> uh, the night before on Sunday night. Um, uh, I was busy till about midnight, and then it slowed down for a little, but just slowed down a little. It was still quite a bit of driving, especially between um, between two and four, there was quite a bit going on there. And now towards the end, it was being really quiet. I think I had a break of an hour where I went to sleep and then I had one last customer. Uh, and so the night turned out to be about uh, 300 and 35, something like that. 335 is pretty good. I worked hard for it. And of course it's going to cost me ugh, a lot in fuel because the electric part, if I haven't mentioned it already, the electric part isn't working so the car is running on gasoline only. And who knows when we're going to get a new battery that's any good. Because the battery that's in there was replaced less than a week ago. And it's junk. I think I may have mentioned that already. Anyways, uh, didn't have any trouble from anyone. A couple of people made me worry a little bit. One guy was really, really silent, but he ended up being okay. And another guy was pretty drunk, but he didn't give me any real trouble. I just worried that somebody that drunk, yeah, whatever. I get drunk too, but I don't go out in public. I stay right near my bed where I can go to sleep. Uh, anything else? Well, no, not really. It's I'm on my way out to uh, Six Mile to wash the car, and then I'm gonna bring it back in and fuel it up and deposit some money and go to the chiropractor again. He's gonna be adjusting my back. Then I'm going to have my neck stretched. And I'm just tired. But yeah. I'm just tired. Three more nights to go this week. Eight more nights to go this year. This was a Tuesday night. And, uh... It started out a little on the slower side. But it was busy enough overall for the whole night that, you know, you'd get trips in clusters. I think the first hour was a little slow, but then it picked up. And it was 
fairly busy for most of the night. I did about $350 worth. Um, didn't have any trouble from anyone except when we got to a homeless shelter. Apparently my headlights were blinding the homeless people who were sitting there on the sidewalk. Uh, which, you know, they shouldn't really be sitting there because that's considered loitering. And there are loitering signs, no loitering signs all over the place. So anyway, she said, you're blinding us. And I just said, I'm leaving. And that was the end of that. So, I'm, yeah, I'm really tired. It was raining all night and rain makes me even more tired. Naturally, I don't get enough sleep. And of course, we're often I was sent long distances because we were swamped. Uh, we don't have enough, yeah, I know, I keep saying it, we don't have enough drivers to cover the city. Uh, oh, yeah. So I'm just, I just fueled up. We still have a broken uh, battery, and uh, they're supposed to be getting a battery in today, but it's not the owner who's driving after me. So the day shift driver probably won't get in to the gas station or to the uh, mechanics to get the battery replaced. So the way it looks, Thursday night uh, I'll have a fully functioning hybrid uh, drive again. Right now we're just running on gasoline like we were for the last uh, two nights and the night in the last night of last week. So, um, my fuel has been costing one and a half times as much as it should have for those so far four nights. I haven't got a fuel bill under $30. And usually I get one or two fuel bills under 20 during the week. Ah, uh, and it's busy, it's busy. We don't, yeah, we're, it's just busy. I'm, I'm just tired, I'm just cranky and tired. I'm always cranky and tired. I just wanna go home and drink some peated scotch. That'll put me in a better frame of mind. Yeah, time is now 5.53 a.m. on a Thursday morning. So this was my fourth night in a row, and it was one of those that was looking a lot like the others, in that it was super busy in the first six hours of the night. It was quite busy. I did $175, no, $205 by midnight. That's on the same pace as the other nights of the week had been. But then something curious happened. Just after midnight, it got quiet. It got dead quiet. And I was doing from midnight. I did four trips this morning. Four trips all morning long. That would be from from midnight till now, till 5.54 in the morning. That's quiet. But that's the way it went. I did $65 in the morning hours. I had a couple of really, a couple of really good trips over the $20 range and a couple trips in the $10 range. So that's what happened. I worked really hard the first six hours and the last six hours I just relaxed. I watched videos, I went to sleep. It was very, very easy going.
and I missed that. In fact, I was almost asking for it, and then it happened. It got slow. I mean, I'm not against making money, but I like a balance. I don't like to rush. And I did not have to rush at all in the morning. There was no stress at all. It was great. It was simply great. It could be that we just have that many more cars on the road now. Now I'm heading to the car wash. Then, then I gotta fuel up. And that's not gonna be cheap. And this is hopefully the last time I will have to deal with a bad battery. Because after I make after I fuel up, I'm going to take this thing to the garage where it will be repaired and the owner will pick it up there because they got another battery in for it, for it late last night or late yesterday in the day shift. There wasn't enough time to install it, but they will, it will be installed this morning. Then, then I'm gonna go home, and I'm gonna figure out how to send the old taxi vlogs to my colleague, who is going to put them up on the Mequig Taxi Vlogs channel. I was able to transfer some of them over there, but it seems that Dropbox freezes up. And if I put a whole stack of videos in the Dropbox, only some of them come out the other side. So this is going to be an interesting, uh, interesting thing. Well, I'm at the car wash. And we got one more night to go this week. And I'm looking forward to this weekend. Am I ever looking forward to this weekend? Ah, here we are. It's the airport. It is now 3.49 in the morning. And I got $380 on. Oh, and I forgot my seatbelt. Shit. I can't pull over there. That's a competing taxi company's stand. Uh, I gotta come by here. Pull over for a second. Uh, there's another one of our cars going. Oh, uh, shit. Let you look at the dashboard for a second there. There, got my seatbelt on. All right. Got my seatbelt on and got $380 on and the time is only 3.50, it's not even four o'clock yet. Yeah, it's uh, the 24th of December. It's uh, the morning. I just dropped some lady off at the airport so that she could go home and visit her mother. And her plane was canceled two days ago 
but today she was able to snag another flight to go to the airport in Trail, BC. So it's a couple short hours flight on a little plane, or is it one hour flight and then two hours drive, something like that, to get to her mother's place. Because her mother is not right in trail. She's somewhere between Nelson and um, Castlegar. I think that's what it was, Nelson and Castlegar. So what else to report? Been a fairly busy night for the most part. I was busy before midnight and busy after midnight. I've done 21 trips, including this run to the airport. Almost $400. Maybe I can break the $400. If, yeah, I'll work another couple of hours and uh, I can break the $400. This is taxi vlog number, I don't know what. <laughs> I wasn't paying that any attention. Well, uh, I want to wish you all happy holidays. And hope yours is better than mine. <laughs>